the Akasha, a dimension of the universe that inspires wonder and awe in even the most closed off of human minds. An invisible field of consciousness, a neural network which even science of the 21st century has literally now realized. <laughs> what is the Akash? What is its significance in our day-to-day -day lives and how might one increase the value in their lives by knowing it? My name is Nathan Lindsay, host of Vibes and Frequencies, and in today's episode we're going to be addressing all three of these perfectly wonderful questions. <laughs> but before we get started, go ahead and take a moment, scroll down below, and subscribe so that you don't miss future episodes in the Akashic Records series, like for example, how to connect to Akashic Records. So this being said, let's go ahead and get started. Our universe is ever expansive. Imagine all of the galaxies, all of the star systems, stars, planets, suns, gases. What we're talking about here is actual physical matter that can be experienced. It can be reached out and touched on the physical plane. Now, most of our society and collective is very excited. We spend a lot of time being very excited about all that exists on the physical plane. <laughs> But have you ever stopped to consider how much of our universe is actually not physical matter at all, but rather empty space? Well, physicists and scientists have now discovered that actually 96% of our entire universe is actually this empty space, meaning that only 4% is the physical matter. <laughs> That's crazy. Think about that. 96% of our universe is empty space. But now, due to an increase in our scientific development and discovery and equipment, we now actually know that it's not empty space at all. It's actually an invisible field of energy which connects all of the physical matter that exists. We know this field is identical now to the neural network within our own human brains. Meaning that this network which exists in our mind and stimulates cells, passes along vibrations filled with information, exists literally identically in our universe. Meaning that our universe is one giant mind. Because our physicists and scientists now know <laughs> that it's not empty space at all. It's what they're calling dark matter and dark energy. And it is a neural network, which they can now see is constantly in stimulation, passing along all of the information from all of the physical matter. A big spider web of information, identical to the neural network in our own human minds. Think about that. Our universe is one literal, giant, freaking, intelligent mind communicating with itself. <laughs> so, spiritually speaking, we are going to discuss this energy in a little bit different of a way in this episode. However, this dark matter, this dark energy that we are referring to and pointing to scientifically speaking, is what we refer to spiritually as the Akashic Records. The Akashic Records is that invisible neural network that connects all things. And that's exactly what we are discussing in today's episode. The Akashic Records is an intangible neural network on the physical level, which connects all of the physical matter in our universe. But on the spiritual level, it is perfectly tangible. It is absolutely tangible. And as a matter of fact, you yourself are touching it in this very moment. You just might not realize it. So let's address our first question with a higher awareness than by just the limited reach of our own scientific equipment. Our question is, what is the Akashic Records? 
The Akash is the base dimension to all experience, every density, otherwise known as dimensions. So these dimensions are actually each built upon one another. Take this linear model that we've drawn as an example. You've got the first dimension, the second dimension, the third dimension, and so on. Now, thinking of the Akashic records as the roots, however, is absolutely wrong. We can see it more as the seed itself, which began the tree. But also, this is not even perfectly correct. <laughs> even this is pretty far off. Because really what the Akashic Records is, isn't even the seed itself, but the idea of the seed. Before it even was a seed at all, the idea that took place, that is what the Akashic Records is. The idea of the seeds. The Akashic Records is the energy of the idea. It is that fabric, that neural network vibration. And that's actually exactly why the Akashic Records has all of the information that has ever been and all of the information that will ever be stored within it. Uh, because it is that universe in a grain of sand. <laughs> it's that water droplet rippling through the ocean. The Akashic Records is the neural network in which our universe uses to think and to have its ideas. Like you, for example. You are one of the universe's ideas. So now we're going to just be absolutely blunt and clear, okay? <laughs> the Akashic Records is God's mind. That is exactly what the Akashic Records is. The Akashic Records is the dimension of experience in which God, the universe, whatever you wish to receive this information through the scope of, this is what God uses to think. This is God's thought forms. This is why everything that you could ever tap into or need to know exists in the Akashic Records because it is the connection to all things. It is the thought form of the universe itself. So accessing the Akashic Records, uh, it actually means that you have transcended your mind and accessed, uh, well, rather realized <laughs> God's mind. Um, because just like the water droplet in the ocean, God's mind is actually in yours. So again, uh, don't forget to go below and subscribe and click that bell notification because our next Akashic Records episode in the series is about how to connect to the Akashic Records. But now let's go ahead and take a look at our second question in this episode. What is the significance of the Akashic Records in our day-to-day -day lives? To dive into its physical significance, it means that it's actually time for us to swim with science and mathematics. <laughs> so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at fractals first. Fractals are a perfect visual representation that can actually stimulate our own individual physicality to start receiving certain information from infinite intelligence. A fractal, mathematically speaking, is an equation repeated over and over and over again <laughs> through what we call a feedback loop. So the magic of this, even though it sounds kind of boring, is that we get an infinite tunnel-like experience that truly never ends. It appears to always be changing, and yet the source of the fractal is unchanging and always stays the same the original equation. So now when we take a look at Fibonacci sequence, numbers in nature, <laughs> we see the profound impact that the Akashic Records has in our realities. Because the Fibonacci series is actually a series of numbers in which each number is the sum of the two preceding numbers. So yes, I realize this sounds kind of confusing um, and like it might not be relevant, but this is truly the real evidence and depth of our spiritual experience that most of us walk around through life pretending isn't real. <laughs> so what the Fibonacci series is, as a direct example, is 1. One, two, three, five, eight, thirteen, so on and so forth. So, 
the thing is, is that nothing in nature actually exists without this sequence woven into its fabric. We'll say this again. Nothing is existing in nature without this sequence woven into its fabric. So here's some visual representations so that you can integrate what it is that we're really talking about here. We see this mathematical sequence in plants. We see it in animals. This number sequence is in everything. So when we turn back to the fractals previously mentioned, in which there is an equation, one original equation, it is the same equation repeated over and over and over again. Boom! <laughs> Do you not see the relevance here? Our entire reality and on the physical plane is a fractal. Our entire experience is a fractal. It is an illusory experience where we are in a tunnel vision like flow, where everything around us is always changing, always becoming new, always blooming. And yet, all of this blooming, all of this change, all of this momentum we experience in this tunnel vision of what it is to be human comes from one original equation, one original consciousness, creating an illusory experience of all of our individuality, of all of the blooming in nature, of all of the change, and yet it all comes from one simple equation repeated over and over and over again. And we can see this also in sacred geometry. Wow. <laughs> Just wow. What a freaking trip. <laughs> so the significance of the Akasha in our day-to-day -day lives is actually that our day-to-day -day lives are an illusion, just like the fractal. We are in a perpetual state of tunnel vision, completely unaware of the fact that our experience is illusory, but that the equation behind it is not. It is very real. It is the intelligence and the mind that is the source of all that is. And again, this is exactly why the Akashic Records is what most people talk about as being a dimension you connect to where you can receive all information of everything. And the reason for this is because the Akashic Records is the OG equation. It is the droplet and a droplet and a droplet and a droplet. The universe in a grain of sand. The Akashic Records is when one is quite literally able to transcend that of their own human tunnel vision to tune back through all of those fractals that you've been zooming through for an infinite complexity of time that we can't even begin to fathom on the human level. But when we zoom out enough and we really start watching, this is where the OG equation lives. And yet, even if we don't zoom out and begin watching, we still are that equation repeated over and over and over again through a karmic loop. We just have lost our awareness of this. That's all. <laughs> So, how is it that we can actually increase the value and the quality of our individual lives here by realizing the Akashic Records and this dimension of experience? It's really quite a simple answer. The Akashic Records is in everything. <clears throat> Most people like to believe that a dimension is something that you are going to. However, this is pushing it further and further away from being one with yourself because all of the dimensions are here right now. You are all of them taking place together. Again, it's only a matter of our awareness having had lost touch with certain aspects of who we really are. So the way that we can increase the value of our lives by knowing the Akashic Records is simply Look how magical things are. We spend so long with our heads in the sand, so long stressed about all of these complexities of our human experience, 
going to work, getting the relationship, making the money, all of these things. There's so much stressors that come with it. By knowing the Akashic Records, rather realizing it, this is an important distinction to be made, which we will tap into further in future episodes. But it's really quite simple. You are the magic in everything. You are the original equation. And yet you are so caught up in the tunnel vision of the fractal moving and experiencing all of the change. But who you really are is absolutely an energy and equation that is always staying the same. It is always at a standstill. It is always in stillness and in silence. So all of the chaos that we are experiencing is a creation of our own illusion that we feed into by giving in and feeding into this tunnel vision. Now, I don't want to spend a long time or even much at all in this episode discussing what it is that we can do to tap into the Akashic Records because, again, this is the next episode. But what I will say to leave you with as a, as a sort of cliffhanger is that the tunnel vision is quite literally the experience of us looking at a single point in the fractal. When you look at a fractal and you stare at one single point, this is when the tunnel begins and you begin to grow in that direction is a certain way we can think about this. Now, what happens when you begin growing in that direction is you're moving yourself further and further away from the OG equation. Now, what it literally means to be staring at a single point in the fractal is it means that you are defining things. This is what this is quite literally an analogy for in our human experience. When we are defining things, when we are giving things definitions, when we are giving things meaning, and when we are holding on to them, this is what creates the tunnel of momentum in the fractal experience. So it's very simple. To increase the value of our lives, we stop labeling things. We stop giving everything this meaning that isn't actually there. We stop attaching to these stories that are the illusory experience, and we allow ourselves to be the observer. Because when you stare at a single point in a fractal, this is when it starts to suck you in. When you don't look at any point of the fractal and you simply just look at it without really looking at it, right? This is kind of a like a spaced out kind of glance. This is the analogy for being the observer. Suddenly, you see the entire whole of the actual equation that exists. Not the tunnel vision that you are creating as an illusion for yourself, but the actual grand picture of what is really going on here. So... We'll see you for the next Vibes and Frequencies Akashic Records episode. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to go below and like. Again, make sure to subscribe for future episodes. We've got a lot of art taking place here now. And uh, thank you very much. Feel free to check the description of this video. If you like this video, you'll find some others below that are certainly in alignment with this kind of energy. Thank you very much. Once again... My personal name is Nathan Lindsay, and uh, that's all we got for you today. <laughs> Thanks for being you. Thanks for being here.